This is hot and sour soup. Super fast, easy, and packable recipe you can cook on any camp stove. And it uses two great pack backpacker ingredients, powdered eggs and soy sauce powder. Yeah, soy sauce comes in a powder, but I am here in Mammoth Caves National Park. I found this great log to cook on today, but stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. All right, we're all set up on this fallen tree that I found here in Mammoth Cave National Park. And tonight we are cooking on a Minimo. So this, if you do have a jet boil or chimney style stove, this is a great recipe you can cook along if you just like boiling water and just need a quick dinner with a, also some really quick, easy cleanup. But some ingredient call outs for our hot and sour soup. So the great part about this recipe is most of the ingredients fit right in this travel tote. So we've got a little bit of hot, a little bit of oil, a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit of vinegar. And here I have black vinegar, but rice vinegar, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar works really great as well. some powdered eggs, and you may be in the camp of powdered eggs, you think these are terrible, or you maybe didn't even know that these existed, but they are a great ingredient to pack along for a nice protein source. And I will say they do taste like cardboard, but if you add them to other things or add some spices and flavors to them, is, uh, it really takes away a lot of that cardboard flavor and makes them pretty tasty. Then I packed three things right in here. So we have ginger powder, garlic powder, and soy sauce powder. And yeah, soy sauce does come in a powder form. It is a special order and I'll put a link down below. So you can use soy sauce powder, which looks a little bit like this. Mine is a little bit old, so it's a little bit cakey, but it's a pretty darn good ingredient to have in the pantry. Or you can just use a couple soy sauce packets that I know you probably have in your, your drawer right now. And the other thing that you could easily add is some fresh veggies. So I've got some really nice color here. These are all really nice and packable and can, can last for multiple days on the trail. But veggies are optional, but I like having a little bit of freshness and a little bit of color, a little bit of texture in the hot and sour soup. The other thing to notice here is I love having these old drink container bottles here, whether that's four, two, one ounces, or this is just an old toiletry uh, lotion tin that I cleaned out to be able to throw our powdered eggs in there. But it really helps with packing up some dry ingredients or some of those wet ingredients. I will say for those wet ingredients, make sure that they're threaded so you don't end up with soy sauce on your socks. That, you know, may have happened once or twice before. <laughs> simmer for just a minute or two depending on your veggies it does not take very long but what I would like is for our pot to be at a really nice low simmer not super rolling boil a little bit like that and then we're gonna stream in our powdered eggs and our cornstarch 
and I highly suggest you do take this step to hydrate them because if you just add it straight to here, it's going to be really, really clumpy. And we also need some nice high heat to be able to activate our cornstarch. But for this version of hot and sour soup, this is a no carb or very, very low carb option. But you could easily add some rice, some ramen noodles, some rice noodles to really bolster up this bowl. But kind of nice to have an option with some nice high protein, some nice veggies, some good flavor, and you could easily choose your own adventure as far as your, your carbs. But see how that's starting to thick up a little bit. Got a little bit of a egg flour drop situation going on but you can always, always add more cornstarch. You can always add more soy sauce, more vinegar, and more spice. So if you're unsure about it, you could easily just add a little bit, taste it, and then adjust from there. So what we're looking for is this to come up to a nice simmer, that cornstarch to really start to thicken this. But man, this is looking really nice in the sun here. But do be careful because this can boil over. So I would make sure that you watch this, especially with this full pot here. Don't go blow up your air mattress right now. It's dinner time. Wow, so this is looking really, really good. It's smelling really nice too. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the heat. I'm gonna give it a, give it a test. That tastes really, really good. And I could use a teeny bit more soy sauce, a little bit saltier, and a little bit of more, more of that flavor in there. It's also time to add some hot. So choose your own adventure about how spicy you would like it. But add a little bit of sriracha right in there. Again, you can always, always add more. Give that a nice stir in there. Yes. Mm, yeah, that little bit of soy sauce, that little bit of spice in there really brings it all together. But this is a pretty darn complete bowl right here and only takes about five to 10 minutes to cook up. This is a really great recipe for one portion, two portions, or four or five. You could easily scale it up, scale it down. You could also add some green onions or other veggies, maybe some other protein, like some chicken or some pre-cooked tofu. So choose your own adventure as far as how you want to build up this hot and sour soup. But really satisfying on a cool day in the woods. It's also really nice, quick, easy cleanup. Well, get out there and try this hot and sour soup recipe. Also, I've got a link for our soy sauce powder because it is a great ingredient to have along if you are going on a long trip and looking to cut some of that liquid weight. But get out there, find a stump, find a rock to cook on. Boca Boca.